Okay, hey guys, it's Trace. I'm back. Um, another real quick in the pressure cooker. I bought a head of cauliflower. It's not a giant one. I cut the stem out the bottom, and that's I cut it into hunks. Put it over one cup of water in a steamer basket. What I do is I run a paring knife down across in the bottom. Drop it in like that. Whoop. Hold on, let me just always run your finger around inside on that seal just to make sure that it's properly seated. Lock and load. Make sure it's on seal. Manual. One minute. And when that's done, I'll be back. Alrighty then. It did its one minute, or it did its coming up to pressure. Cooked for one minute. It's just beeped. I'm gonna take this out now. You don't need anything weird or any tubes or spatulas or anything to open these pressure cookers, okay? Put your hand to the side, I guess. But if you just start a little tiny bit, right? It'll release the pressure. Right? And there's hard, it's not that hot, right? It's fine, it doesn't hurt you at all. As long as you just do a little bit at a time, it's not gonna hurt cabinets or kids or dogs or ducks or whatever's up here. Okay, no worries. And then once you've released it for a bit, then you can go a little bit more. And then you can feel that it's the, 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 the top has been taken off the pressure, then you just open it the rest of the way. It just takes a sec, it doesn't, it's not terribly loud. My dog is sitting right here staring at me. He, she didn't care. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you just wait for it to uh, come down and then you can open this thing. Now, I'm a, I'm a twister, I'm, I apologize. I think you're not supposed to twist these lids, but I totally do. I don't have this kind of time to wait. You see, I sort of I've pressed down a little bit. The pressure's been released. The pin is starting to drop already. So there you go. I do that. Open it facing away from you. Look for my paring knife in perfectly cooked. It's not gummy, it's not in pieces. It stays together, it's got a slight bite, which is still to it, because my plan, ultimately, I will be cooking this again. So I just drop it into a bowl. All right, there we go, done. And I'm just gonna let cool off like this because I'm not gonna use this right away. I made some bechamel and I'm gonna keep both of these things in the refrigerator so that if later on today, tomorrow, dinner, whenever, I think, oh, you know what I need is some cauliflower with cream sauce. I don't like cheese sauce. Um, so I'll take some of this, throw it in a little bowl, take some of the bechamel, put it over top, breadcrumbs, bung it in the oven, till they're brown, and this heats up maybe 15, 20 minutes. I could do the whole thing. Anyway, that's it. Go get a head of cauliflower. Come on, do it. You know you want to. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate all the support I'm getting from everybody. I love doing this. So uh, carry on. I'll go think of something else.